All right, here we go, on to skin number two. This one is obviously a lot longer than the previous one, so it's gonna take me uh, a lot of time. And the other thing is there's gonna be a lot of moving it around to get it to work correctly on the DRDD2. So that's interesting. Um, take your time with these skins. Make sure you have the right facing up. That's always important. And uh, don't rush it. That's my advice, if I had any. So, all right, here we go. The rest of this is done exactly as the last one was done. Uh, I've sped it up considerably because, well, frankly, you've seen it once. You've seen it a bunch of times. Using the DRDD2 to manhandle that really long skin. And, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. That, so that skin, gosh, the uh, if I remember correctly, the wing itself, like that entire structure you see back there with the ribs, is, I think, 16 feet long. And so I think this skin is like 10 or 12. Uh, I'm guessing because I don't have the measurements in front of me. Um, but it's, it's lengthy. It would be really handy to have another body, like just another person out there to hold either end of it as you roll it around. Uh, I didn't have that luxury. So instead I was using a stepladder and a board and you know, whatever I could find to help support it as I did the work. Had I to do it all over again, I probably would make that little uh, pedestal table there longer. It would just make things a lot easier. Once I got that done, I went through and started working on uh, dimpling all the holes in the various ribs and other places that need dimples. So what you just watched me work on was going through and dimpling all of the ribs and this rear spar. Now that all the dimpling is done, it's actually time to begin the assembly process on the skins itself. So I'm going to take the skins, I'm gonna put them back on here per the instructions and start the riveting process. A lot of this is gonna be done with bucking bars and uh, rivet gun because there's just no way to use a squeezer. The other thing that's really important is that you make sure that you don't get a twist in your wing. Uh, this would be very bad. So to that end, uh, I have placed a wooden board down here at the end that, so that it is uh, beyond this doubler as far as possible on top and bottom and so that there's no screws or anything that it's sitting on. And I've done the same all the way down at the other end. So it's, it's sitting on a piece of uniform length and thickness uh, at the very end of that doubler so that both sides are the same and then the rest of it is just free in between because again you've got a doubler on here a stepped doubler that's longer on one side than it is the other and because it's longer if you were to lay it on a table it would be candy wampus a little bit it would actually impart a twist so you want to make sure there's no twist and I have been going through and checking by laying a flat edge and using trusty my my trusty level and sure enough i have no twist so we're good to go there i'm going to go ahead and get ready put the skins on and begin the process and i did just that i started working on the skins and i got it partly assembled and i realized wait a minute i've forgotten something so i totally just noticed something and uh, I, I skipped a step and i'm calling myself out on it because it was a really dumb step to skip You'll notice that I've got this rear spar back here and I've still got Clecos holding it in. And as I was putting the skin on, I was like, you know, if I put all this on, how am I supposed to rivet this? That doesn't make sense. It seems out of order. And I went back and I checked the plan and yeah, I was supposed to have rivet all this on before I even started on the skins. I skipped an entire step. I'm not sure how I skipped a step, it's on a different part of the page. So as you can see here in the upper left is where I did, was working on it. And then I just turned the page and I completely ignored step four down here in the bottom right. I'm an idiot. Um, pay attention, right? So I'm gonna do that right quick. Uh, thankfully, it really doesn't matter. These have been firmly here, so everything, it doesn't affect anything. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and rivet all those right quick and then we'll get back to working on the skin. Eh, mistakes happen. So I'm really glad I caught it. I mean, I, this is one of those things that could have bit me. I think had I screwed up and managed to rivet the skins on without riveting those things on, I could have still saved it because I still had access to the backside. It was just much, much, much easier to rivet it all on using the squeezer uh, as you're watching me do here. Um, I sped this up considerably. It took a long time. Uh, there, there are quite a few uh, rivets 
on that thing. I mean, every single rib has four, I think, four or five. Yeah, it's several. Plus, there's all of the uh, doubler plates that are on the back that also have to be done. So, I mean, it was it was quite an effort. And uh, yeah, it took it took several hours actually to get all those riveted on. Uh, again, pay attention, you know, make sure you read all of the instructions, both before and after. I think this was a page where I, I, I did, or I, I didn't read it before and I didn't read it as doing, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. I just got ahead of myself. So, eh, mistakes are going to happen. Okay, it's finally time to go ahead and start riveting on this skin. So I did go through and I put all the rivets in up top here uh, on the rear spar, something that I had said I had forgotten. I showed you that. Went through it, uh, went through and did it all. Took a couple hours actually, and then I put all the skins on. Got all the clecos on. I want the skin good and tight for me to work with. So I put, it, I made sure I had a cleco in every other hole. Uh, used up a lot of clecos. Remember, you need a lot of these things to do this. The wings take up a lot because there's a lot of holes. But uh, I'm going to dive into this next. That's what's coming up in the next video. See you guys later.